Hi everyone, it's Aki. I'm an interior designer and a woodworker, and I recently moved from Montreal to the sunny island of Barbados. One of the things I've been working on since I got here is to transform my backyard into a little oasis where I can chill and live the island life. I filmed the whole process so I can share it with you guys. And let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. Whether you're into DIY or just looking for some inspiration for your own outdoor space, I think you're gonna love what I have in store for you. So let's dive in and let's see how I turn my backyard into a little slice of paradise. I had this vision of turning my backyard into a space where I could entertain, relax and just enjoy the outdoor. And that's exactly what I did. The first big project was installing an outdoor shower. Because let's face it, who doesn't love a good outdoor shower on a hot day? I designed and built it in a couple of days and it turned out pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Next up, it was time to create a lounge space where I could relax and entertain. I designed and built a custom seating area using cement block and comfortable cushion. It was my first experience as a mason and I felt overwhelmed at times. But I never gave up. It's the perfect place to kick back and enjoy a cold drink with friends. Talking of friends, we had some visiting at the time and they helped so much. I'm so grateful and I can't wait for them to see the final project. Once the lounge space was in place, I wanted to create a space where I could cook, entertain and relax all at once. Of course, no outdoor kitchen is complete without a grill. I mean, I'm not going to cook, but my husband is. That's where things got a bit challenging. I had to figure out a way to do a niche at the back of the counter to hide the ugly gas tank, which required a bit of research. But I got it all sorted out in the end. One of the most eye-catching features of the space is definitely the crazy paving floor. I wanted something that would be durable and low maintenance, but also add some visual interest. So I went with this crazy paving pattern using broken pieces of tiles. I was lucky enough to find the tiles for free in a local tile shop. I also built a long farmhouse table style to fit the space. It's really made for bringing people together and enjoying good meals with friends and family. Finally, I need to complete this long garden bed where I'm going to grow some herbs and veggies. Of course, no project is without its challenges. Like when a big crack appeared on my beautiful countertop. But I pushed through and it was all worth it in the end. Overall, the outdoor kitchen and lounge area was the biggest and most rewarding project in my life. I learned a lot along the way, and I'm excited to share my tips and advice with you. Well, that's it for the overview of my backyard transformation project. In the next video of this series, I'll be diving deeper in each component of the project. I'll show you a step-by-step -step of how I build the outdoor shower, the kitchen, the lounge space, the crazy paving floor, and the garden. So subscribe if you don't want to miss any upcoming video. And since I love hearing from you, feel free to leave a comment or to reach out to me on social media if you have questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to continue sharing my DIY journey with you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.